Hello everyone, this is Robert here with the Tech Geek 311 iOS 9 update. This is going to be for all you iPhones, such as iPhone 4S and higher, and any iPod Touch 5th generation and higher. So if you've got an iPhone 4, 3, 3GS or lower, you can't update. If you don't see this screen, you will not be able to update. If you have an iPhone 4S or higher, you're going to be able to get this update. And it's going to come along with the iPhone 6S as well. If you have an iPod Touch, original or fourth generation, you won't be able to do this update. You have to have an iPhone, iPod Touch, fifth generation. So before you run through this update, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your iCloud settings. You're going to want to go to backup and you want to hit backup now. So you do a manual backup. So I've got a current one in here right now. So we don't have to do that again. So now we're going to go to general and software update. So you can see here it's 1.2 gigabytes on the iPhone 6 Plus. And then you can go to learn more and this gives you all the information about the intelligent proactive Siri, iPad features, how the built-in maps, the maps, the notes, the news app, mail improvements, Apple Pay and all that have been improved, which you do get the Discover cards now. You get the new iCloud Drive app, CarPlay if you have it, the battery life and so forth. It gives you the whole information about what is going to be involved in this update. Now 1.2 gigabytes is very small compared to the last iOS 8 that we had so I want you guys to know that. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through the update once the update finishes it'll put me through the little small setup and then it'll be ready for iOS 9. Now make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel don't forget to subscribe and make sure you're on my Patreon channel. You gotta become a Patreon because I'm gonna have special videos on iOS 9 that I will not have on YouTube. So if you're not a patron, you won't get those videos. Alright, so right down here it says download and install. So you hit that. Okay, and then it's going to ask you for your passcode. If you don't have a passcode, then you'll skip that step. You're going to hit agree, and you're going to hit agree. Okay, and then now it's going to request the update. And then it'll start the little spinning up here and then it'll start with the download. Now, you'll notice on the iPhone uh, 6 Plus it says updating takes about, or actually downloading, takes about four minutes remaining. So it's gonna finish doing the download, then it's gonna start the installation process. Once it does that, then it's gonna verify the update so that you can make sure it has the right one. The screen will go black, you'll get an Apple symbol, then you get a little cog down here that'll spin. And you'll get another Apple symbol with a line. That line has to finish completely. That's the entire install. Once it finishes, screen goes black. You get another Apple symbol, another Apple with a line. That has to complete. That's the firmware and restoring everything back like it used to be. And then the phone will reboot. Once it reboots, put you through the little activation and you're ready to go. All right. Okay. Now we're down to 56 seconds. This is downloading the software. And then what it's going to do is it's going to prepare the device for the update. So it has to make the necessary preparations for it. So right now we're at about 40 seconds and it's going to finish the download at this point. This is all automatic. The only thing you want to do, make sure you keep the screen open and just let it run. That's it. You don't have to really do much. If you want a faster speed, go ahead and get on your iTunes if you've, if you've already been backing up to iTunes. Install it through iTunes. You have that option. This is over the air, so this is considered a Delta update. So it doesn't change anything, it just adds the new functions onto the device. And I've done all of my updates through Delta. I've not had any issues. Some people have. So if your phone is jailbroken or your iPod Touch is jailbroken, I wouldn't recommend over the air. Um, but if your phone is, or device is fine, then go ahead and do over the air. Make sure you have a, a good strong Wi-Fi. I'm running an 802.11ac Wi-Fi right now. So if you have a good strong signal for Wi-Fi, not that many Wi-Fi devices around you running, then this should go pretty smooth. And right now it's preparing for the update. Okay, so now it's finishing up, preparing for the update. Then it's going to get a, another screen that's going to pop up that's saying it's going to automatically install. And you really don't have to do anything. You don't have to press anything. Okay, now it says software update. iOS 9 will begin in 5, 6, 7 seconds. It'll restart when the install is. You can hit later or you can hit install or leave it alone. 
Okay, and then now it's going to verify. The screen will go black. You'll get the Apple symbol, and it'll get started with the install. Now, I did this also on the iPad 2. So if you want to see that video, click the links below in the description. Click the link above. And also, don't forget you're to be subscribed so you get all my new videos. And don't forget to um, join my Patreon account so you get all my updates on what's new in iOS 9 that I'm not going to show you guys on YouTube. Okay? So, first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get the Apple symbol. Okay? You're going to get a little cog spinning on the bottom, and then you get the Apple symbol in the line. And then that's when the install actually starts. There's your little cog, and there's the line. Okay, so right now the line is almost done. This is pretty much the installation process. This is installing the iOS 9 on the device itself. Once this finishes, the screen goes black again, you get another Apple symbol, then you get another line. When that line finishes, that's finishing the firmware update, as well as putting everything back where it normally was. So this one is pretty much almost done. You want to expect, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, anywhere from 30, 45 minutes, depending on your device. If it's an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, probably be a little bit faster, even though it's only uh, minimized to 1.2 gigs. So just know that. Uh, if you want to do it quicker, get on your iTunes. If you've been back in your device on iTunes, get on iTunes, update it there. Shouldn't take you that long to do. Okay, there we go. The full install is done. Now it's going to come back on again. You'll get another line under the Apple symbol. From here, that line will finish out, which is the, usually the firmware install and the restore of everything, put everything back where it was. And so you'll see it'll pop up another line underneath. I mean, usually it goes a little bit faster. And that's usually all the steps that it goes through. So you get uh, the two Apple symbols, the two lines, then it reboots the device and puts it back um, into the setup screen and back to the home screen. Okay, and right here it's doing the line and it's real quick, finishes through and then it does the reboot. Okay, there it had the two vibrations so it did the reboot. So that means that it's going to come up to the startup screen, which in this case is going to do sort of like a hello, as if you bought a new device. Okay, so now we're in the hello screen. So you pretty much go in here. Okay, so this update's been complete. You hit continue. You want to enable your location services. You're going to type in the password to your Apple ID. Hit next on top. It's going to update your iCloud settings, and this might take a little while. And then it says, Welcome to your iPhone. Hit Get Started, and it'll bring you right back into your phone. And you can see everything is there. You got the new News app right there. Then Newsstand, of course, got moved out. I don't know why. But if I go now into my Settings app, Okay, and we're going to go through um, General, go to Software Update, and then I'll zoom in and you can see running iOS 9. Alright, and then if we go out back out here for a second and show you something. Okay, right here I have all my Apple apps. Now if I hold down on this one, Find My Friends, you notice there's no X's anymore. Scroll across, you notice there's no X on Find My iPhone. There's an X here, but there's no X on those. So that means those have become default apps, just to let you guys know. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's iOS 9. You're now running iOS 9 on your devices. So if you have any uh, questions, whatever, leave them in the comments. Don't forget, if you're, this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. And be sure you uh, become a patron of mine on my Patreon account. The link will be below because I'm going to show you a lot more things on iOS 9 that I will not show on YouTube. So if you're a patron, you'll get all those new info and help if you need it. All right? 
I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.